Hello everyone. Today I would like to show three free OPC UA client tools for your test purpose. So in this test, uh, the i7-1200 uh, PLC uh, will run as an OPC UA server. And there are three tools. One is Unified Automation, uh, the tools named the UA Expert. Uh, the second one is uh, one tool has come from OPC Expert website. And third one is a one simple tool uh, that you can download from Siemens support website. So as you know, the OPC UA is becoming more and more popular general communication method in the industry area. The OPC UA uh, protocol or this communication method allows you can set up the data communication between PLC to PLC, controller to controller, or someone calls um, uh, machine to machine. Or it also allows you to set up the communication between uh, PLC controller to uh, your computer directly. Before I start to share the three tools, um, let's quickly review what the settings in the OPC UA server side. So this is the TIA Portal version 16 software. And this controller, that is a i7-1200 uh, controller. This version is a 4.4. So in this project, I set up the this controller running as an OPC UA server. So in the controller uh, properties, I activate a OPC uh, property here, uh, OPC UA property. So we can see that uh, this I check this box and I already download the controller. And also uh, there are two uh, data block. One data block uh, is common data here, and another data block. I programmed a very simple logic. Uh, that is a uh, simple log calculation, calculate the sign, and uh, the results go to the Y. So if we go to the watch table, I already dragged the, all the data in this watch table. So we can see that this sign calculation is working. And um, I used the, this two data, add together, and output the result to the data one. So if I input this two data here, we can see the result will coming up. So see, they add together and then coming here. So this data will be used as a test data interface. Um, we could use uh, the OPC client to, to look at it, to reveal the data. So all those data are already dragged to the, the OPC server interface. In here, all those data and the sign the input and output are already here. So this is a simple review on the OPC's UA server side. Let's start from the first tool. The first tool I'm, I would like to show is a UA expert. So this tool comes from Unified Automation. If we go online, So if we go to the unifiedautomation.com, this website, um, if we go from home and you could find uh, there is a download button here, and there is a OPC UA client selection here. So there are three tools here. So one is um, a software running in PC, and one is a Android app here. So uh, what I'm using is UA Expert version 1.5.1. Uh, so after a download, this software you need to install into your laptop. And after install, icon will show like this. So let's start. So this is a quit button. Uh, and this is a add server. So firstly, let's add a server. After click this button, uh, we can manually input uh, uh, IP address uh, this client into, into browse. 
double click here, let's import and after I input this IP address and you can click this button and then uh, this client start to browse this OPC UA server we can see that this client already found this uh, OPC UA server here so we could see that there are three configuration here from test purpose we use a none uh, security settings uh, for demonstration so we click the OK and once there's couples of folders showing up here that means this client already connect with the OPC UA so next things we need to browse uh, the data interface in this uh, server so because all of data already put into the uh, server interface in the PLC side so we can see there is a folder named the server interface the name this is identical with uh, the settings uh, in the PLC side if we quickly review here that is a server interface and the name is a server interface underscore one so the client is browsing it finding it's already found uh, this server interface underscore one we expand this folder so we can see all this data here um, if we can only select all of them and drag it here and then we can see that this client already communicate with the OPC server here so the sign this is the input and this is the output and the client is reading the data from OPC UA server and also we can input the data here um, so those two data add together and put the output the result to data one so we could write the data here and then the results coming from here so that means this client read the data to the OPC UA server and then read the data from server so this is the first tool uh, unified automation UA expert let's shift to the second tool the second tool what I would like to show is one tool uh, comes from OPC expert so if we go to the OPC expert website Uh, you could find the detailed description on this website if we click the download button uh, you need to send up uh, your name and your business email and download this OPC expert tool so after you download this tool it's a zip file after you zip the file there's a couple uh, folders and the file here so this is an exe file you can run you do not need to install you just need to double click and then run it directly so after I double click it it show up like this way to connect the OPC UA server so we need to add a computer here let's manually add a computer here and here we need to input the IP address of your OPC UA server 200 click OK and after that uh, waiting for a couple of seconds allows this software browse your OPC UA server meantime it will pop up a window security alert so we allow this software to browse my network uh, after I allow this access so the software browse already found uh, the server here and let's expand here and similar way this software already browse a couple folders here if we expand the server interface uh, server interface underscore one so from here we can see the data 
already be browsed here. Let's drag the data to this uh, window here. Okay. This is your server IP address. The name of that, and this is the item ID, node ID here your item name and the value. So this is my sign input and this is my sign output. Also from here, we could uh, write the data, write a new data from here. Let's write a 110. 110. Okay, see uh, the results coming from here. This results coming from uh, test data one at test data two. So this is the second tool. The third tool uh, I would like to show is uh, OPC UA client. Uh, we can download from Siemens technical support website. So that ID is this ID. So let's go to the website. So if we go to the support industry.siemens.com, after we type in this ID number in this search window, you could find uh, the printing of OPC UA clients with the Donite and uh, Helper class, this application example. So, and then you log in the website and download this example here. After download all the file from that application example, uh, you can unzip this zip file, and then you can find uh, there is a one folder named the UA client uh, 1500. And under this folder, you can find an application here. So this is a exe file you can run. So if you double click this tool, after you double click this UA client 1500 exe file, we will open UP OPC UA client, this tool. Uh, same way we search the UA server here, get endpoints. So we find that this client already found this server. And same way, uh, we click the non-security here, connect this button, uh, click accept certificate permanently. This pop-up uh, security warning install this uh, security inside. Once this button shows uh, disconnect from server, that means we already communicated with the uh, OPC UA server. So next things we shift to the second uh, tab, browse nodes. So from here, uh, we can find out the same way uh, under server interfaces, uh, server interface underscore one, uh, we can browse uh, go through every tax here. There's no window you can drag this tag to somewhere. But alternative way, for example, if we want to test or uh, check the online status of this value, we can temporarily write down this ID. And then uh, we can go to the subscribe, paste this, click the subscribe. And you can see that uh, this value is here. Other than the subscribe, we can also go to uh, read and write. From here, uh, you could type in the one tag that is I5. I5 is uh, uh, the date four in here. So we could firstly uh, click the read. The current value is 23 in this data tag. And from here, if we type in 34, we write the data into this server tag and then click the read. So we see that this data already write into the server and 
after we click the read, they read from the server back to the client. So this is the third tool, OPC UA client. To sum up, uh, let's quickly review these three OPC UA client tools. The first one, uh, Unified Automation UA Expert, this tool is very famous and very convenient. The only things you need to download the software and install that into your Windows system. And then it's very convenient to use. The second tool, OPC Expert, the beauty of that, you do not need to install this software into your laptop. You just run directly, and if you do a deep research, you will find this software can provide many functions. It can provide a simulator OPC server, and um, you can do a different task using this tool. And for, for free, this software can use uh, four hours. Uh, if for business use, you need to purchase that. But for test purpose, four hours is enough. Uh, the third tool is totally free, but you already found that uh, the functionality is a little bit simple. But for test purpose, that's enough. So this is the three OPC UA client tools what I use. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you like to watch more videos in my channel, please subscribe. See you in next video.